I'm currently facilitating a book group on sort of online learning from the student perspective and offering um, the ability to uh, annotate the text uh, as one way to engage with both the text, but also with um, your fellow book group members. Um, I was able to take the, um, through our library, um, uh, host those, those PDFs for folks to, to, um, um, to annotate. Um, and then nice thing about that experience, or one of the nice things has been that um, the, the asynchronous conversation that's happening uh, in the margin then can drive the synchronous discussions that we hold over Zoom. And so um, I have a sense going into our, um, you know, our synchronous sessions where people are interested in talking about within the text. Um, I can actually pull different quotes or different annotations um, and refer to specific moments within the text. Um, and then uh, that can, I think, create a little bit more of a focused conversation. Uh, I can also use those annotations to help me get a better understanding of different conversations that might happen, uh, for example, in a Twitter slow chat. So I also use Twitter slow chats as another um, asynchronous way to um, engage with uh, different ideas and, and people. And so um, you can certainly have a record of the conversation that was happening uh, within the margins of a text and then continue that conversation in a, in a different um, format uh, that also might open up the conversation um, to the world beyond just the sort of closed off um, uh, book group um, because we are running it through um, Canvas. Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, another is just through um, workshops that I've led, um, most recently with our teacher education program managers. Um, and so I um, was invited to uh, join the retreat for two hours and um, did some actually synchronous uh, annotating, which we're going to do shortly here. Um, uh, but it, there was a big sort of concern about, how, well, how do we create community in an online course? So rather than just sort of talk about it with one another, which we did do, um, but we were able to read articles that I had found um, about how do you create community online um, and so sort of live that experience. I also think um, it's important for faculty and staff who are going to ask their students to annotate um, to actually have the experience from a student perspective. Um, and so I think that was also important for me is, is when I'm organizing these experiences to think about, well, what is it like for someone who may be assigning a, a reading um, via hypothesis in Canvas or another LMS or on the web to actually experience it from a student perspective. So uh, that experience, um, annotating the article about community then led into a discussion both about the articles, but also right sort of that meta level discussion of, all right, well, well we did just build a community um, within, our, within ourselves. So 